how do you get renewables to power data centers? Data centers are really large loads, power loads, and they are constant large power loads. In this pie chart on the right, there's an outer circle. That's energy efficiency. The economy is growing. There's going to be more work that has to be done. But that load growth that, that represents the growing economy, a lot of that is going to get picked up through energy efficiency. And I love the story here on tape, the energy story on tape. Right? We can do a lot more work, a lot more data storage with a lot less energy. It's just a phenomenal story, and it plays into that outer ring of energy efficiency. So this is a very simplified uh, block diagram for provisioning energy to a data center. How do you get power to that data center core? In my view of the world, you use renewables and storage combined as one of the energy sources. Then you have grid power, that's pretty obvious, and you have diesel generators. Those energy sources go into some switching that basically determines which source is going to be, or which combination of sources is going to be provisioning the power. The power runs through a UPS. All of the power runs through a UPS. Um, this is a slide that shows a solar generation profile, which you can, you know, it's pretty simple. You know, middle of the day, 12 noon is when your solar peaks and uh, it kind of ramps up and then ramps back down as the sun comes up and goes down. So the ability to use renewables to satisfy normal loads is relatively easy, relatively easy compared to a data center, which is the black line. Data centers have really large loads and they're flat. Right? They're 24-7, 365. So now how do you get that solar to satisfy a large flat load. It's much harder than satisfying a typical office type load. One of the ways to start to do that is by adding energy storage into the mix. Energy storage basically allows you to flatten out that renewable energy power source. So this green dotted line basically shows that if you use solar in co combination with the energy storage, so 100% of the energy storage power is coming from the solar, you, you end up with that green line. You can get a 24-7 profile, but it's obviously going to be a lot lower in terms of its amplitude compared to the peak of the solar. The opportunity for local renewables and energy storage working together is that you can provide indefinite backup power. Right? If you size it right, you will have that replenishment from the local renewables. You will not have to worry about resupplying a bunch of diesel. The challenge is that data centers have large flat loads and doing that with solar is really tough. How do we mitigate that? There's other ways to play local renewables working with energy storage. First of all, you can diversify your renewables mix. So wind and solar have highly complementary generation profiles. Second opportunity, diversify geography. The cloud allows you essentially to diversify geography. And then also, you can monetize energy storage. So energy storage is expensive. If you combine energy storage with renewables, there's a 30% federal investment tax credit that pays for 30% of the battery.